Hey guys, my name is Cameron. I thought I'd just uh, give you a basic review and my own thoughts on my new mod that I just got about a week and a half ago. Um, it is the Modified Sirius 200 watt box mod. Um, I am running the Sense Heracles 3 tank on it. Um, I, I just got the tank about a, a month, two months ago as now as well. Um, and I'm by no means a professional, but I thought I'd just kind of give you guys my own opinions on it. Um, so far, I'm loving the mod. It's got great features. Um, I was running a, an E-Leaf iPower 80 watt mod, um, and it did well, but once I upgraded my tank, I was vaping at a, at a bit higher wattages, and it just didn't have the power that it needed um, for me to be happy with it, so I went ahead and upgraded. Um, this is my first mod that has the um, actual batteries. The the e Leaf iPower just has a 5,000 milliamp hour built-in battery, whereas on this mod I am running um, two tw uh, 2,500 milliamp hour 18650 um, batteries at 25 amps, um, and so far. The only complaint I have isn't with the mod itself, but with the tank. Um, I, I think I'm running uh, too low resistance coils for the wattage I'm putting out. Because um, I, I keep getting like premature, premature coil burn. Um, so I have to drop my wattage down in order to not burn out my coils as fast. Um, they could all just be, uh, they're supposed to be rated up to 100 watts. I'm only vaping it at 65 and I'm starting to get coil burn within a day to two days of uh, swapping out coils. So I have ordered some new coils and we'll see if that fixes my issue. I'm hoping it does, um, but just going to give it a quick, quick vape real quick. I mean, it's, it's the flavor and production on this thing is great. It feels really nice and smooth. I am using my own e-liquid that I make. Um, I do all my DIY uh, e-liquid. So if that's something else that you guys would like me to do a short video on, let me know. I can always do that. I have, just have a pretty basic setup, but I love the stuff that I make. Um, it works really well for me. It also saves me so much money in the long run doing it this way. And there's just a lot of experimentation with different flavors and finding what you like. Um, but so you can see, basic screen here, if I'll ever focus on it, um, ah, I guess I won't, uh, but it's just got your power, wattage, shows you the voltage, shows you how many puffs you've taken, um, and then your settings, it's just got really easy, uh, button set up here, change your wattage, um, hit the mode button, can change it up and down. Same, same with the power settings. You can go from titanium, stainless steel, nickel, um, and then to your TCR, bypass, and then back to your power. Um, and then you can come down to settings. Sorry, my camera sucks real bad. Um, come down to settings, and then you can cl like clean your puff counter, change some of your TCR settings. It does have an auto off mode, uh, which I have disabled. Um, so after half an hour, it will automatically lock itself out, um, which I don't feel like I need. Um, I do have a baby in my house, um, but even with that, she never get she never gets a hold of it, so I'm not super worried about it. Um, essentially, just that after half an hour, you have to click five times to get it to unlock again. Yeah, so as I said, just really nice, clean vape. Um, it hits pretty, it hits pretty quickly, a lot faster than the E Leaf did. That took like three seconds to even start heating up. This is pretty much within a half a second. You're you're getting you're getting good vape out of it. Um, so. Yeah, just really nice, clean vape. Um, overall. Love the mod. Um, I got it off of Element Vape for uh, thirty five nine or thirty four ninety nine, um, and then with batteries and a charger. Since I didn't have any of that, 
Um, I think I paid a total of ninety one eighty five um, with the free shipping that it came with, uh, since it was over fifty dollars. Um, other sites I've seen it wrap uh, for around fifty to sixty for the mod. Um, and if you already have batteries, um, then you'd be good, good to go. Otherwise, you're you're probably looking around spending about a hundred dollars for batteries and a charger your first time out getting this set up. Um, having started so, st having started on something a lot smaller, um, my first setup, I was running the iPower 80 watt with a Sense hair uh, said the Sense Weirdo tank, um, and that one did pretty well to start out on. Um, but it, I spent fifty bucks out the door for the uh, both the tank and the battery. Um, Sorry, there's sirens outside right now, I guess. Um, but overall, um, honestly, I think it'd probably uh, be worth the extra 50 bucks to start off with to just have a better vaping experience right off the bat. Um, so I just thought I'd give you guys a quick review in my own opinions. As I said, I, I don't own a vape shop. I don't go through hundreds of mods a week testing them out um, like, like some of the big channels do. Just kind of my, my own opinion. I love the mod. Feels really good in the hand. Really clicky button. Not sure how well that'll come up on the camera, but yeah, really clicky button. I've, I've heard some people have issues with the button sticking. I haven't run into that yet. Um, I've had it click on in my pocket like once, but other than that, I haven't had any issues with it. Um, the one weird thing I've noticed is that it does have the little battery gauges down here, and it'll show you. Um, it does seem to run the right battery cell down faster than the left. Um, so yeah, when it gets down to the bottom, like the, it'll lock out because the battery is dead. Only the right battery will be dead. Um, so it won't run with just one battery, um, charged. But yeah, for whatever reason, it does drain the right signal battery faster than it does the left. Um, I'd love to hear your opinions if anyone knows why that is. Um, as I said, I've been using it for about two weeks now, and I absolutely love it. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below.